Grammar 3 for Level 3 Students Unit 6 Subject-Verb Agreement Basic Subject-Verb Agreement Using every and each Every and each are always followed immediately by singular nouns. Even when there are two nouns connected by and, the verb is singular. Every boy and girl is scared in the jungle. In the picture, every boy and girl is scared. In this sentence, every is followed by the singular nouns, boy, girl, and they are connected by and. The verb should be singular. See another example. Boy and girl, these two singular nouns are connected by and, and every is followed by them. Use where the present simple form of the verb and add s as the subject is singular. Every man, woman, and child needs proper care. Every is followed by the singular nouns, man, woman, and child. Add S with the present simple form of this verb. Every means a singular subject. Using a verb separated from its subject. Sometimes a phrase or a clause separates a subject from its verb. Such kind of interrupting structures do not affect the subject-verb agreement. See the examples. The sentence was before like this. Every boy and girl is scared in the jungle. We also can write this sentence by separating the subject from its verb. How we write? Every boy and girl in the jungle is scared. Compare these two sentences. The subject is separated from its verb. Every boy and girl is scared in the jungle. But when we separate the subject from the verb, we can write Every boy and girl in the jungle is scared. See the other example. The sentence was like this, but we can separate its subject from its verb. Every boy and girl at the party wears a graduation cap. In this sentence, the subject boy and girl is followed by the verb immediately. But in the second sentence, the subject boy and girl is separated from its verb wears. There is a phrase after the subject and the verb is separated from the subject. We can also write these sentences. Each question that is important is written on the paper. The subject, each question, is separated from its verb. There is a clause in between the subject and the verb. Another example. Those books that I bought yesterday are with me. Those books, this is the subject, but this subject is separated from its verb, are. As there is a clause in between the subject and the verb. The clause is that I bought yesterday. If we remove the clause, we can say the sentence this way. Those books are with me. Each question is written on the paper. In both cases, if we remove the clause, also it can be a sentence.